Absolutely. And that's what we're seeing right now as we covered in the weekly market review. As soon as value is presented somewhere, people are just taking absolute advantage of it. Now, moving on smoothly to the next pair that's showing this right now is the Pound Canadian. Really interesting weekly setup when we're looking at the technicals. You can see it's now starting to develop this bullish type sentiment. And again, this is building on the weekly offering opportunities that the daily is not displaying. So, Paul, what's your sentiment right now on Pound Canadian? I'm sure you'll agree that this weekly technical setup is pretty much supreme. Oh, easily. Taking a look at Pound Canadian dollar two, we can see that we had the key resistive level of 1.86 that we were ranging basically from 1.86 to 1.82 from beginning of January 2014 to around August of 2014. Finally broke out that resistance to the upside back in the beginning of this year reached the highs at 1.95 with a nice high test candle for the week of February 23rd. And now we finally got that retest of that key resistive level as new support, a textbook low test candle. Notice how we closed basically neutral. So look how much, look how much ground was gained back on the bears to end the week. That is a massive low test candle. We're rejecting not only that 1.86 level as new support, we also rejected the 0.5 and the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement. Supreme confluence here. Another higher low has been formed. Anyone looking to trade this long, the obvious first target is the weekly high at 1.95. So Paul, if you just want to cover as well, for me personally, the weekly chart, the main way I use it is to look at longer term positions. It gives me opportunities that don't exist on the daily. And I also use it to discount my daily ideas, basically as that head check, as I mentioned in the intro. How do you use the weekly yourself for your trades? Same as you, taking a look at, when I take a look at the weekly, it's giving me that longer term view. Look at these weekly bars. You have to remember that's five days worth of trading compared to 24 hours on the daily. It's gonna give you that longer term sentiment. It takes a while for decent trends to develop. So that's why I like paying attention to these weekly charts because it allows time to pass. It allows the market to, to identify key support and resistive levels that are acted on time and time again. So taking a look at the weekly, I like to be patient. I like to wait for the weekly to show a supreme setup in my favor. And then oftentimes the daily will then trade in line with the weekly. So that weekly, as Tom mentioned, is that head check. It's gonna give you the overall sentiment because as many, as many traders know, taking a look at the daily, sometimes it's hard to identify where the overall sentiment is, especially if we are consolidating or moving or ranging on the daily. It is hard to find that overall trend. So if you zoom out, take a step back and see where we are in the market overall, what kind of trend is developing, using the weekly chart is very, very easy to identify those setups and then use that daily for even more supreme timing. So having that head check on the weekly is huge and I would recommend every single active trader utilize the weekly every week to not only avoid potential bad trades on the daily, but to really see how long it takes for decent trends to develop and work on your patience. If you notice on pound Canadian dollar, it took a month for this retrace to happen all the way down to 1.86. If you try to catch the falling knife on the way to 1.86, you would have lost a lot of money on the daily. So waiting for the weekly to show that support will be a great head check, a great reason to then look on the daily for a candle to get long. So utilizing the patience is huge and you can really see that on the weekly charts.